Bible says God made everything 6,000 years ago. 4,400 years ago, there was a flood. Noah built a big ark and saved all the critters on board. Noah built a big Noah ark and saved all the critters on board. On board. On board. Kent Hovind, of course, deserves our sympathy for his believing in a fairy tale. Alleles are alternative forms of a gene that occupy the same locus on a particular chromosome. Alleles come in pairs, that is, each human being has a pair of alleles at each loci. Reverend Hovind believes that there were eight human beings on board Noah's Ark. Tramie, Avril Laville, Caitlin, Lynn, and Tessa, oh my god, it's Chris, Peach, and me. Because it's my video, that's why. That means, without evolution, there can only be 16 alleles in the entire human genome. The human genome shows many hundreds of different loci have many hundreds of different alleles for each loci. This, of course, does not bode well for creationism. For Reverend Hoven's belief to be true, a massive amount of new information must have been introduced into the human genome via mutation. This, of course, goes against his belief. Therefore, he has a contradiction on his hands. Therefore, if there was a genetic bottleneck of a mere eight human beings 4,000 years ago, that means a massive amount of beneficial mutations added a massive amount of information into the human genome. So, Reverend Kent Hovind, you've got a problem on your hands. Was there 35,000 people on the ark, or did evolution happen?